All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your SmackDown review for November 24th, 2023. SmackDown is pretty much just another boring show. Nothing really exciting, nothing intriguing. The only thing was the Carlito and Santos uh, segment. That was pretty much the best thing. Everything else was just trash. It's another terrible show, man. All right, let's get to it. You got Judgment Day versus Street Profits for the tag titles. Angel Dawkins gets a tag. He cleans house. Street Profits hit the blockbuster for a two count. And then Street Profits hit the revelation. But they didn't get... Uh, Angel Dawkins couldn't lift uh, Damian Priest all the way. So he like lifted him a little bit. So it didn't look that good, that move. Finn Balor broke up the pin after they hit the revelation. And then Balor hit the double stomp for the win. The coup de gras, whatever he calls it. So the Judgment Day retained the titles. It's the Street Profits. And then uh, after the match, they showed Bobby Lashley and that uh, B-Fab girl looking at the looking at the TV. Or they're watching the match in the backstage. And he was Lashley was like all pissed off and mad and stuff. And he walked out. I don't know why they keep booking these guys. They win one match, they lose one, then they win one. They just keep alternating wins and losses. Kind of pointless because how are you supposed to get behind a a new uh, group that just got established and you're not even doing anything with them pretty much? Because they keep winning and losing. So the booking has just been terrible for these guys. So I don't know what they're going to do. They still don't really care about this match. All right, next up we got... Oh boy, this goofball Grayson Waller. Dude, this show, this uh, talking segment, Grayson Waller effect needs to go, man. He needs to die a slow and a fast death, man. This is, this is another brutal segment. So it was Austin Theory dressed up as KO as his guest. Oh, that's a ridiculous moron. And then KO comes out. And he goes, oh, I was supposed to be a guest in your show. And he's like, oh, uh, you, you are a guest, man. Kevin Owens, right here. Grayson Waller told him, oh, you cost me my match, mate, against L.A. Knight. And then L.A. Knight comes out, yeah. He says, you thought he wouldn't be here. So I'm with Kevin Owens. And then he says, and then Grayson Waller and Austin Theory like, oh, we'll punch you in the face. And then they were like taking forever. And then L.A. and K.O. are like, oh, well, should we punch him in the face? And then... Hold on, right there. And then that was pretty much it. And then the match starts after the commercial break. We got KO versus uh, KO and Ellen Knight versus Theory and Grayson Waller. Ellen Knight uh, bashed both of their heads on the announce table. That was kind of hilarious. Those two idiots. Waller and Theory. KO hit the Swanton for a two count. And then Ellen Knight hit a DDT. Ellen Knight hit the People's Elbow. His version of it. And then Waller broke up the pin. And then LA Knight hit the BFT for the win. Just another pointless match. No stories. Nothing. Alright, moving on. We got uh, Carlito. Easily the best segment of the night. He says, it's been 13 years since his last pay-per-view match. Santo said some horrible things about Rey Mysterio. He says, you made a big mistake. And that's not cool, man. And then Santos Escobar, he comes out there. Says, you're not representing L- LWO colors. Ray was my family. LWO was my family. Ray's career is over because of you. And then Santos tosses the mic at Carlito. Carlito ducks out the way. Hold on, do they got a picture of that? Okay, right. Okay, then show Carlito ducking. That's the best shot they got. Yeah, so Carlito ducked it. Then they attack each other. You got security and the golf, uh, officials and referees. They come out to break it up right there. And then, so it looks like uh, everybody's cooling down and settling down. And then and apparently Santos, he like ran around the ramp to where the crowd is on the other side. And he ran through the crowd and attacked uh, Carlito. He like ran off the barricade right here in the picture. And then he need Carlito in the back. And then... Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. So they after the commercial, they show a segment in the back. Carly was walking in the back. That's just like grabbing his back or whatever. He's in pain. 
And then Santos, he pops up out of nowhere. He starts attacking Carlito again, this time in the back. And then he gets some help. Oh, what the... oh, I need to get rid of that. My bad, Joe. Yeah, so then uh, Dragon Lee, he pops up out to help uh, Carlito. And he attacks him. And then that was pretty much it for that. So I guess Dragon Lee is just like defending because he's a fan of Rey Mysterio or whatever. It's his mentor. Trying to help Carlito out. And then next up we got the Brawling Brutes versus Pretty Deadly. Another pointless match. Didn't really care about. This was pretty much about this. Uh, Ridge Holland, during the match, he just says, screw you, Butch, I'm out. So he, <laughs> he just leaves during the match. And then uh, Pretty Deadly wins. So they're teasing Ridge Holland leaving Brawling Brutes. I just don't really care about this until he starts explaining why so we can get some storyline in this. Just don't really care about this. And then we got a, another segment in the back. This time it's Nick Aldis, SmackDown GM, getting interviewed. He says Carlito can't compete at uh, Survivor Series tomorrow night. So I'm going to postpone the match. And then Dragon Lee pops up out of nowhere. He says, oh, can I get the match? Or whatever, and Nick all just like, oh yeah, you got the match. So it's gonna be Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar at Survivor Series. And then the main event we got uh it was Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch versus Bailey and Oscar. We're just pretty much during the middle towards the end of the match. Bailey hit Becky from behind and then she went into Charlotte and then they attacked Bailey, sent her out of the ring, and then they started like Pretty much pissed off at each other, arguing with each other. And then Bailey and Asuka got the win. And then pretty much the whole night was pretty much like, oh, can uh, Bailey and Charlotte coexist and put their beef behind them? You know, it's whatever, man. Don't really care about this. All right. So that was it for SmackDown. See ya.